the starting lineup for the visiting Memphis Grizzlies. At small four, Dylan Brooks. At center, Stephen Adams. At shooting guard, Desmond Bailey. At the other forward position, Jerry Jackson Jr. At the other guard position, John Barron. The head coach of the visiting team is Taylor Jenkins. tonight, David Oldham. T.A., take it away. Well, thank you, Kevin. We all know Joel Embiid's incredible blend of size, strength, and skill. He says, whenever I want, I'm able to be Shaq. And I'm also able to be Dirk, Kobe, or MJ, or any guard, really. Just a combination of everything offensively. Kevin, whether it's shooting off the dribble or pulling up or ball handling, he does it all well. He does indeed. David, thanks and the starting group for the Grizzlies. The wingmen are Bain and Brooks. Adams is the pivot for him with Jackson Jr. at the four. And it's Morant in at the one spot. And for the 76ers. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Axie out there with Harden. And it's Embiid in at the five down low. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a team. pursuing titles here in Philly. Now here's Morant. What a tremendous game he played against Utah. Jackson a screen on Harden. Morant kicks to Bain. Off target from outside. And so it's Harris who will bring it up for the 76ers. That's to Harden. This is it to Thibault. Takes a three. That one doesn't drop. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Moran looking around. And he converts the layup. He has elite athleticism. Makes John Moran a threat on the glass. And you know he can finish. The three from Harden. Grizzlies with the rebound. 
last time they met was in Memphis. And a lot of that was game plan, putting guys in a position to succeed, particularly on the offensive end. They understood what the defense was trying to take away and game plan a great strategy to take advantage of it. This is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible. He's got the deck. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Maxi, good. It's Harden with the assist that time. And Harden is more than just a score. He's also got some sensational handles and passing instincts. He loves connecting with his teammates. Here's Moran. And it's Memphis with another to see this they're calling his number early and he's delivering it makes sense right you're trying to get off to a fast start and he can help with that now here is Harris nine points last game shades over Adams got that bucket and you see there Tobias with body control to take the hit still complete the play Morant against Harden in the corner it's Bain Target with his three. The 76ers have gone two for four from the field so far today. And the pass to Embiid. Shoots over Morant. Embiid, no good. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Morant passes to Jackson. Back to Morant. And Morant throws it down. I like that find by Jackson. Young bigs who can see the whole floor. You don't come across them that often. Harden against Morant. Here's Harris. Brooks grabs the board. And the Grizzlies leading by four. He dishes it to Morant. Jackson on the assist by Morant. Jackson's got his second bucket. Right there on that play, Jackson showed the nice touch and his ability to finish around the rim. The three from Harden. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Jackson a screen on Harden. Here's Morant. That one's not going to go. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Really consistent with their aggression. In that game, we saw very few lulls from an intensity standpoint. A couple things stood out for me. They were relentless, and they also played under control. That's a deadly combination. And that's what the pump fakes there for. Get your man off his feet and drive right around him. Brooks outside. Jackson setting the pick here for Brooks. 11 feet away, and he nails Jaren the jump. Jackson, Six points for Jaron Jackson. Nice play, and credit Jaron for being shot ready. He knew the play was coming to him, and he knocked it down. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here.
You know, trade talks have really ramped up here recently, and being a part of a rumor, Steve actually being traded can really affect a player mentally. Yes, Kevin, especially the first time it happens. It's a business, and as a player, you have to learn that quickly. You have to try not to take it personally. The 76ers trail by three. Harden right side. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And this is hard, especially one of the best in the league at drawing contact and yet still able to convert. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Grizzlies? Right now, it's their passing game, and it's been on point, doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And also, guys, they're out muscling their opponent. The points in the paint are piling up because of that aggressiveness. And it's tied up with that one. You saw glimpses of John Moran's potential in his first two seasons in the league. But year three, both John ja and Memphis took it to another level. Now here's Moran. He's got six. And he slams it down right on top of Joel Embiid. As creative as they come, John ja Moran has a style that's specifically his. And on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you can see how impressive that move was. Another level indeed for John Morant, his third season Smitty in the NBA. And now he has joined the conversation for MVP. Kevin, that scoring average well over 25 points per game. Morant is the leader of Memphis. The Grizz finishing in the top three of the West. Incredible for a 22 year old. And the officials call it for a three second violation. Philadelphia has gone just one of four from three point range here in the first. Harden kicks to Harris. And he's fell pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jaron Jackson. With a nice combination of strength and elusiveness, Harris makes things difficult for the defenders inside. And he's got his first free throw of the game. An 85% shooter there, and they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. First one falls for him. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. And Harris drops them both. And so teams take on the attitude of their city and over the years Philadelphia has been one of them the Sixers known for having tough teams much like the town now here's Jackson he picked up 12 points in their last win against Utah yeah but he was also a force on the defensive side two block shots it also altered a ton of shots Maxi finds Harden it's over Morant and that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, gritty, much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Here's Harris. And the rejection by Jackson. And the basket by Harris. In this period, they're feeding him. And he's feeling it. Morant's against Harden. Jackson with the screen. Now, here's Morant for three. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Harris passes to Maxi. And 
feed the streak. Shoots from eight. Maxi, no good. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Brooks outside. Morant outside. That's to Jackson. Now, Payne. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got three assists in the game. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Timeout called the 76ers. Sixers will go for a different look here. Pirtle, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Tobias Harris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's John Wall in for James Harden. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Tillman, he's checked in for Steven Adams. Brandon Clark comes in for Jaron Jackson. Conchar's checked in for Dylan Brooks. And Jones subbed in for Morant. On defense, Memphis. It's a three-point game. Pass to Maxi. Hurdle with a screen on Bain. Wall wide open. From outside, off the mark. Memphis has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Picked by Clark. Conchar, the pass to Clark. Wall looking for an opening. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for James Harden. It's a concerning trend for him. Uh, whether he's lost some strength or, or just isn't putting in as much effort on the glass as he used to, he's not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. And that's something that needs to change. Jones, no luck. The 76ers trail by three. Outside wall. And the rejection by Clark. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Now, here's Clark. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Conchar, defended by Milton. Jones, no one around him. Good on the triple. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Here's Wall. And he can be counted on to put some points on the board every night. He's averaging right around 13 and a half points a game. Nice shot by Pirtle. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Jones for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. Their third three-pointer in a row. Wall passes to Milton.
That one, no good. And the Grizzlies going the other way now. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. They play terrific defensively. The few cracks they showed, guys were quick to rotate and help each other out. I love the communication. Love the hustle. They came up with big stops all night. Outside, Maxi feeds it to Wall over Jones. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. A minute 42 left in the first quarter. Clark sets a screen for Jones. Second chance effort. Here's Conchar, defended by Milton. Five to shoot. Jones from outside. Buries the long-range jumper. And it's a 12-point Memphis lead. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. They established the pace. They made shots. This is why they're way out in front. A nice shot by Tucker. Both teams playing perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now here's Jones. He had 13 points in the win against Utah. Yeah, and I look at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Well, great with this Memphis Grizzlies team. You like how young and how hungry they are. It's very appealing. And these players have bought into the system. This is a selfless group that knows each other's strengths, and it's why they've seen so much success here of late. And that one falls for Clark. Chris Boucher is checked in for Memphis. That one is no good. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage. And you look at Jakob Perla. Great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with a move or just power his way to the hoop. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much of a there. The Grizzlies have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. At the line for two. First free throw is good. And so Clark nails both of them. So it's Wall. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Down by 12. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway. So a three-point play chance for him. What a great finish there from Wall. It's clear he doesn't fear anyone when he's looking to score. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And the free throws have been dropping for him at a rate of about 77% on the season. John Wall. Find the lane. Find the lane. Good shot. And the free throw, no good. And there's a lot of nuance to Wall's game. People talk about his speed and things like that, but his instinct and skill are equally as important, if not more so. Back to Maxie. 
offline with his three. And a double-digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first quarter of play. Memphis out in front, up by 10. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this. neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and looking at what we've seen from the Grizzlies what do you guys think I mean the rebounding was the difference in that first period you've got to block these guys out well, yes you know this GA back in our day in any day really if you don't block out somebody you will sit down Harrison and Bede are manning the post positions Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey and it's Thibel in at the small forward that's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. The fadeaway, and it's off the back rim, no good. And the edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Morant passes to Jackson. Back to Morant. Shoots from 12. Brooks with no one around. And it's off from three-point range. The 76ers trail by 10. Harden the pass to Embiid. Here is outside. Embiid with a screen on Boucher. Here is no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Harden against Morant. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Good work there as it goes. Morant's got 12 in the game. What body control for Morant. Able to take the hit and power through it all. Now, here's Thibel. He's guarded closer. Back to Harden. Embiid with a screen on Brooks. From deep Harden. The offensive rebound, Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alden. David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Al Harden following the miss by Jaron Jackson from deep. Here's Harris. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Memphis leading by 10. Morant outside. Boucher sets a screen for Morant. Brooks dishes to Morant. Trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. One thing that makes Jaren such a great alley-oop target is his hands. Measured at enormous 10 inches long. And the 76ers call time here.
Memphis making a change here. Adams checked in. There is so much young talent, Steve, in today's NBA. That being said, whose game should an up-and-coming player try to emulate? For me, Kevin, for the 25 and under crowd, the guys I love, Luka Doncic, unbelievable. Ja Morant, Anthony Edwards, LaMelo Ball, and it's a whole slew of others. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Harden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. One's on Morant. It's just so difficult to guard the beard without fouling. Harden is constantly seeking out contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, James Harden still a tremendous player. But now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston? You got this, you got this. Harden hits them both. And Greg Harden in recent years dealing with hamstring injury. Has he lost a step to age or injury? You know, probably a little of both, but we've seen players with a new diet or training regimen get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Well, Smitty, after his sensational rookie season, I think people knew that John Moran had an unlimited ceiling for the Grizzlies. Kevin, now we know it's not just high. Hits through the roof. Ja was Rookie of the Year, and he keeps up in his game. We could, Kevin, be looking at an all-time great. That's good from Morant. In terms of entertainment factor, can any current player top Ja Morant? I mean, we've seen Ja with some vicious in-game throwdowns. All free throws, good from Morant. Hey, Greg, talking about the great John Morant, this guy is just flat out fun to watch. Well, Jaw's been known to go off for 50 on any given night, but he also looks for others, dropping some nasty dimes. Morant has an insane combination of athleticism and skill. This guy can do anything. Jackson a screen on heart. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You know, some of John Moran's sequences remind you of a young Derrick Rose. He's that explosive. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots in the game right here. And he makes the first. And a great job from the line this quarter. They've gotten their percentage way up there. Tillman, he's checked in for Jaron Jackson. All free throws, good from Morant. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Passes it to Harris to the middle. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. Two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul. Steven Adams picks one up. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. Well, free throw drops for MB. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. And MB drops them both. 
And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Morant passes to Tillman. Back to Morant. Count that one. Morant's got the lead up to 12 now for the Grizzlies. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. And there's the pass to MD. Left side, Maxi. Back to MB. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And, and you've got to admire the toughness that MB plays with. He doesn't let fouls stop him from scoring. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. And Embiid, no good on that one. Really an underrated part of Embiid's game. Excellent as a foul shooter for a seven-footer, so you just can't hack away at it. And it goes out of bounds. The last touch by Embiid. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow. And guys, that block could really help change the momentum of this game. Morant passes to Tillman. Here's Conshaw. Shot clock at six. And it's Brooks in the corner. No good on the three. And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. It's a 10-point game. Harden draws the double. Maxi kicks to Harris. And a miss there on the triple. Yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Adams with the screen on Hart. Morant reaches to Adams. Here's Conchar. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Bangs home the trifecta. And the Grizzlies lead by 13. Confident and relatively efficient from three. Brooks gives you another person who can space the floor. Here's Bible. Nice D from Brooks. Grizzlies have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Conchar, the pass to Morant. Inside, Tillman. Good and a nice assist for Morant. Love the execution. John Morant is big time at breaking down the defense in these sets. Harden the pass to Harris. That shot, no good. Adam, some nice D. And all quarter long, it's been the same story. Inconsistent with this offense. Morant kicks to Brooks. And again, it's Memphis with the three. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Maxi passes to Harris. To end the run. The 76ers again can't hit it. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. The 76ers trail by 18. Outside, Maxi. And Harden now, top of the key. Buries the 20-footer. And 12 points for James Harden. And it doesn't take much to get Harden going. His confidence serves as a catalyst for him catching fire. And the Grizzlies call their first time out of the game.
76ers will go for a different look here. Pirtle, he's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. Shake Milton, he's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And John Wall subbed in for Maxi. The Grizzlies also changing it up. Brandon Clark, he's checked in for Adams. Bain comes in for Dylan Brooks. And Jones subbed in for Kanjar. Memphis leading by 16. There's the screen. Here's Morant. And Morant throws it down. Well, Morant's awareness in the pick and roll is special. He usually makes the right read. Harden the pass to Milton. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Chance now to take a look at some numbers for Joel Embiid. The 76ers have gone 7 of 9 from the free throw line tonight. And team free throw numbers really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. Shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Jones against Wall. Clark sets a screen for Jones. Misses the three. The 76ers trail by 17. Wall dishes to Harden. And that one, good. Harden's got 14. The efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Harden against Morant. And it's Memphis with another. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Pass to Perth. Can change shot. And the layup is good. purtle has got his second basket of the game. You can count on Pirtle to play with energy. And this time it pays off with the second chance points. Morant against Harden. Clark sets a screen for Morant. Yep, that one goes. Morant's got 24. And started hot and he's only gotten harder. Wall passes to Pirtle. Poked away. It's stolen by Jones. And here we go. Fast break and Morant's got it. And finished off by Morant. John Morant in the open floor. This guy's speed is next level. And he can finish. Nice shot by Turtle. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-open. Harden against Morant. He gets that one. 28 points for him. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Now here's Wall. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Harden with a screen on Jones. Here's Wall. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his third personal foul. That one's on Morant. It is great to see Wall back from those awful injuries. Looking a lot stronger now. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw missing. Chris Boucher is checked in for the Grizzlies.
and he sinks the second. And Morant's got the ball here for the Grizzlies. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. A minute 42 left in the first half. Pass to Boucher. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his sixth assist on the night. Shows incredible vision for a younger player. John Morant, a skilled distributor. And when you talk about Chris Boucher, an impressive forward who brings a lot to the table. Here's Pirtle. The teardrop falls in. Pirtle's got six here in this quarter. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Clark outside. And uh, 101 left to play here in the second quarter. Morant with it, now guarded by Burton. Four on the clock, Payne for three. Rebound by the 76ers. Pirtle's got rebound number five here tonight. Now Walt. Pirtle sets the pick for Walt. On the wing, Milton. Kicks it out to Harden. From deep, Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got four rebounds in this game. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Morant against Harden. And it's Morant missing. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Here's Harden. No dice from the high post. And so it's Memphis, holding a big 18-point lead to close the quarter. They've been giving John Wall all sorts of problems. He still hasn't been able to solve their defense. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Doc. I heard you imploring your team, stick to the game plan and know your personnel. What's that mean? Yeah, we keep messing up coverages, you know. I get messing up on some guys, but that can't happen, but it did. So we just got to move it forward. We'll see if the communication picks up. Thanks, Doc. Back to you guys. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break in the third quarter soon to follow. Right here on 2K Sports. Welcome everybody, and as we start to work our way through the season, a sneak peek at the Rookie of the Year race. Well, clearly Jay Nivey is an exceptional athlete, fast hands with even faster feet, allows himself to stay all over guys on the defensive end. And that speed check also helps him beat defenses on the drive. And now switching gears to our featured game, a phenomenal first half for the Grizzlies. If you want to know why they're dominating, look at the rebounding. They are owning the glass on both ends, and they're doing a great job of turning those extra possessions into points. Yeah, in terms of chasing down misses, this has been a clinic. Kind of like you at the free throw line and I have to chase down the ball. Kind of like that. Well, that's what you are, a ball chaser. Get it? Thanks for joining us. Now let's toss it to Kevin Harlan for the start of the second half. And the 
there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Guys, John Morant has been sensational. And he's shown just how adept he can be at creating contact and then cashing in at the line. It's a part of his game that he can always tap into. There's an art to it, and he is painting the canvas tonight. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. So on the floor for Memphis. At the forward spots, it's Brooks and Jackson Jr. In at the guard spots, Morant and Bain. And it's Adams in at the center filling out the middle. Now, here's Thibel. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Releases. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. The 76ers trail by 18. Martin scanning the floor. Bain against Maxi. Passes it to Harris. Embiid sets the pick for Harris. Over Jackson. Harris no good. And the Grizzlies leading by 18. Bain kicks to Morant. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Harden against Bain. Harden up top. 14 points for him. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And that's a nice play. Harden sure knows how to use that body and lift inside. This will be his fourth shot at the line in this one. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. throw good James Harden and the playmaking of Harden continues to impress whether he's looking for his shot or creating for others such a dynamic talent. now here's Bain he's been a factor in their offense on most nights with his scoring average of nearly 16 points a game Jackson against Harris fades and shoots Jackson misses and they start the second half with three straight misses Bain against Maxi. Makes it off the glass. Maxi's got his second basket of the night. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. And they might be down big, but you'd love the mentality he has to go at defenders and just keep attacking. The ability to stop and start, change pace. Morant's a handful off the dribble. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. Shooting two. First free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. They shoot again, and the layup by Jackson. Jackson's got 10 points. Finally getting one to fall. They were 0 for 3 to start this half. Here's Maxi. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. The pass to Harris. Back to Maxi. Driving to the basket. Nice D from Brooks. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Pass to Morant. And 
he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Dylan Brooks seems like a very spirited player, Smitty. He plays with a lot of emotion. I've heard coaches say he's the team's biggest cheerleader, whether that's game time or practice. Kevin, he loves to motivate his squad to be at their best. And the first one drops. Oh, free throws. Good from Morant. And so Harden will bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by 18. Embiid sets the pick for Harden. And yes, it's good. Harden's got 19 points. Yeah, you got your shooters and you have your scores, but James Harden is both. Morant against Harden. And good that time. And the Grizzlies lead by 18. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Harden the pass to Harris. There's the triple. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got seven rebounds in the game. Payne kicks to Morant. Some nice passing there by Memphis. Bain with the screen on Hart. Here's Morant. And the shot goes in. Morant's got 35 in the game. What a night for John Morant. Showing off that versatility, and he's relentless at the offensive end. And then B throws it down. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop. But he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And here's Brooks from outside. Good, and the nice assist from Morant. Morant's got assist number seven for him tonight. Pass to Embiid. Back to Maxi. Embiid trying to break loose. And that one's good, Maxi. And that's now six points for Tyrese Maxi. And here are the Grizzlies now. Morant outside. And the three off target. The 76ers trail by 19. Harris outside. Embiid finds Harden. And Embiid throws it down. That gives him the double double. 10 points and 10 rebounds. Interior presence of Embiid. Guys that big shouldn't be able to move like that. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Greg, we're seeing more fines recently for the language that players use with the media. Is that a concern? I don't think it should be a, a, a concern. And I'm not kidding. The, the league's going to have standards of decorum. You're, you're on TV. You got to keep it together. However, I think that as a society, we're a little more tolerant of certain words that are used in public. And that one is off. And the 76ers with some changes. Pirtle, he is checked in for Tobias Harris. And it's John Wall in for James Harden. Tillman, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Conchar comes in for Bain. So he comes up empty, missing both. And it's out of bounds. The Grizzlies able to retain possession here. Grizzlies making a switch here. Jones is checked in. Tyus Jones. Jackson a screen on wall. Jones dishes to Jackson. No, he already has a number of go-to moves. Jackson's able to keep the defenders guessing. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Grizzlies. It's just a passing clinic from them in this game. Solid communication and unselfish play all around. And we're also seeing a lot from them at the arc 
in this one. Tonight, it's been all about that three ball for these guys. And that one misses. And the defense of Jared Jackson Jr., it has become elite. Triple J finishing top five in 2022 in the Defensive Player of the Year vote. And Memphis making a change here. Baines checked in. And the second free throw, good. You really get excited about Jackson's potential. The size, the agility, and the skill level to make an impact at both ends. Ball passes to Embiid. Pass to Thiper. Six on the shot clock. Embiid with the screen on Bain. Kept alive. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got six points in the quarter. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. Well, what sets Embiid apart is he does it with such ease. Now here's Brooks. Nine points in the game so far. Jackson setting the pick here for Brooks. The Grizzlies with another miss. Greg, why do you think Jaron Jackson Jr. made that leap defensively in his game? Kevin Health. Jackson was finally back to 100% in 2022. The ability to kind of fully use his physical tools. And Jaron's still learning from playing right in right out. Now living up to that massive potential. Now a timeout called by Memphis. in for the 76ers. And Memphis also making a switch. Clark, he's checked in for Jackson. Jones with 11 points in the game. To the paint. And Purdo sends it back. Gotta love the shot blocking ability of Purdo. Wonderful timing right there. And Bede with a screen on Jones. Ball passes to Milton. Shot clock at five. And he gets the basket. Officials pouring the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. He's made two of three from the strike tonight. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Maxi.
The free throw drops for MB. And the Grizzlies leading by 11. And here is Brooks. He's got nine. Clark right side. Clark sets a screen for Brooks. Back to Clark. Shoots over Tucker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Shoot two. No good on that one. And missing opportunities here to extend that lead at the free throw line this half. Chris Boucher is checked in for Tillman. He's off on the second. The 76ers trail by 11. Milton the bash to wall. 76ers moving the ball around. For the three. It's rebounded by Memphis. Here's Bain. Clark outside. Jones the pass to Bain. Here's Boucher. Guarded by Tucker. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. The Grizzlies with another miss. And the 76ers with possession. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Back to Embiid. He kicks it to Tucker. The pass to Embiid. Good on the shot, and that shades the lead to single digits. Embiid's got 19 points. Great quarter for his at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Pass to Brooks. It's up a three. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pirtle's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Now, here's Milton. Guarded by Bain. Wall, good. And for a big man, Embiid sees the floor as well as any big. Recognizes when one of his guys has an opening for a shot. Now here's Jones. He's got 11. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big time move and a big time finish. That's to Embiid. Another shot, and with that shot, the Grizzly lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Pirtle. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Jones, the pass to Bain. Clark is screen on wall to the inside. And that one's good by Clark. Clark's got five points so far. Tough to miss that man. Desmond Bain read the defense perfectly. Wall passes to Embiid. Wall is screen on Brooks. And they double up Embiid. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first person. It goes on Dylan Brooks. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Joel Embiid. At the line for two. The free throw drops for MB, and Philadelphia making a change here. Eibel's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. 
And so it's Payne with it. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. They're leading by eight. Boucher with a screen on wall. Jones for three. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Woo! He got a clean look and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. Embiid touched the pick for Wall. On loads. The 76ers again can't hit it. Memphis leading by 11. Jones the pass to Clark. And he slams it down right on top of Joel Embiid. Quick off the floor and powerful. Clark loves to attack that rim. And that's life above the rim. Courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Now here's Wall. Five points in the game. Shoots the three. Here's Pirtle. Back to Embiid. And another shot. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. Brooks outside. That three off the mark. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Tucker. Three pointers off the mark. The Grizzlies shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. Now Brooks. He's got 11. From downtown, it's not going to go for him. And so it's Memphis. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. He'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the be wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Ready plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And the Grizzlies leading by 11. Front court is Thibel and Harris. Tyrese Maxey out there with Wall. And it's Tucker in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Here's Jones. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And here's Harris from the arc. He can't hit that time. Now the Grizzlies take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Morant against Wall. Morant passes to Jackson. Count the basket. 13 points for Jerry Jackson. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. And there's the foul. It's on Steven Adams. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. James Harden, he's checked in for the 76ers. Fourth quarter of basketball. We're about a minute into it. Harris kicks to Thibel. Just five to shoot. Axie passes to Tucker. Valentine pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. If you're the defense, that can't happen. Tucker got ideal positioning inside. Jackson, a screen on Harden. Morant, the bounce pass. Lead away, and it's good. Off the back of the rim, and in. Jackson's got four points in the quarter. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. 
Now, here's Leibel, and it's Desmond Bain with the bump. That, that is his first foul of the game. And now, let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. In the corner, it's Harris. Tucker a screen, 13 feet away. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jackson Jr. That's on That's Jaron Jackson. And the defender there, a little out of position. Harris sees this, takes advantage, draws the foul. Two shots. The first one falls. Slowly but surely, Harris continues to elevate his game. The shooting, the playmaking, the ability to make a difference. That one misses. And part of the Grizzlies' breakout 21-22 campaign, the emergence of Jaron Jackson Jr. Triple J, GA, missed most of the 2021 season with a knee injury he sustained in the bubble. When he was back at 100% for the Grizz, he provided serious rim protection, plus the ability to hit a three. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to bring. Bible can't get it to go. And so Morant will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, following only three points. This guy is exciting to watch. Morant gets up and dunks it. Maxi looking it over. Tucker finds Maxi. Floats one up, and he lays it up and in. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Harden against Morant, and there's the foul that will go on P.J. Tucker, and that'll be his third foul so far. First team foul. We're in the final quarter of play here, three minutes in. And Adams kicks to Jackson, passes to Jones, six to shoot. Morant against Harden, and it's Morant missing. The 76ers trail by 14. Eibel with the ball. Outside, Maxi. back to Tucker. The pass to Harden. Goes up on the top of the key. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Harden's got 21 in the game. And the Grizzlies leading by 12. Here's Morant. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia. On Saturday, they'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. Then on Monday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. And, and looking at the Mavericks matchup, it's the second game of a back-to-back, -back, and you know they're going to be feeling the effects of it. Playing that much basketball in that short amount of time really takes a toll. And the first one at the line is good. Pirtle is checked in for the 76ers. Both free throws, good from Morant. I love how hard he's playing, really since the break. All the defense can do at this point is foul him. Outside, Maxi and Harden launches it from deep. It's rebounded by Memphis. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half, nothing in the second. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Now here's Harden. 
Comes over Morant. That misses off the backboard. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Tries from 10, and the shot goes in. Morant's got 41. The creativity from Morant always inventing new ways to score. Here's Harden on target from 13 feet. Yeah, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Morant. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Jones for three. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Jackson's got four assists in the game. The 76ers trail by 19. Outside, Maxi has to Harden. Uncovered. Bank shot. No good. Rare for him to get a wide open shot from mid range and fail to connect. Morant against Harris. Now here's Morant. Guarded close. I like when John forces the issue, especially in close where he's fearless. Second personal foul. Third team foul. At the line for the Grizzlies, John Morant. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Morant. And so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft class, in particular, looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. Brooks checked in for Memphis. Outside, Maxi with a screen on Morant. Harden inside the three-point line. Harden missing again. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Morant outside. Jackson setting the pick here for Morant. Pocket six. Adams dishes to Jackson. Brooks outside. Here's Morant, drilled from 11 feet out. Morant's got 45 points. Dominating when it matters most. Give him the ball and get out of the way. Pass to Pirtle. Harris outside. Sinks the triple. Harris has got four points this quarter. And that's sure got to be a load off his mind after not hitting a single three-pointer in that first half. Oh, oh yes! yes. That is not possible. What we just, is, is that possible? I, I think it is, Greg. Not probable, but like impossible, like you said. It's Harden with the drive and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Steve, you played all four years at Michigan State. When you think about the fun you had there, what was more enjoyable, playing college basketball or in the pros? Kevin, I have to be honest, both was fantastic. When in college those four years was something I'll never forget. But then obviously, ultimately, you want to make it to the NBA, and I got a chance to do that. So both were fantastic in my eyes. And he knocks down the first one. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. And, and something that gets overlooked is how good of a passer Steven Adams is. You're totally right, G.A. He's gotten much better with his vision. Knows how to find cutters and open guides out of the high post. Plus, he's skilled at throwing those full-court touchdown passes. And a wide-open look for Payne. No good from outside. 
trying to finish out the game strong. You have to recognize who has the hot hand and get in the ball. Sky high, one of his advantages as an undersized four. Memphis leading by 19 points. Morant outside. Outside Jackson from the arc. Good, and the nice Morant assist from Morant. Morant's got his assist totals piling up. 11 now for him. Morant against Harden. Now, here's Thibel. Defense right on him over Brooks. The Grizzlies pull it in. Brooks has got five rebounds tonight. Well, Greg, we're seeing high schoolers now making six figures to play basketball. I bet you wouldn't have minded that in your time, would you? I tell you what, it beats delivering the newspaper, right? <laughs> it's still fresh and developing, but a lot of different opportunities are emerging. And here is Pirtle. Maxi into the lane. Rebounded by Jackson. Blown opportunity right there. Won't get many chances easier than that one. Here's Brooks. Makes a fantastic move and nails the shot. And that's 13 points for Dylan Brooks. Getting hit on that shot there, but Dylan's girth allows him to play right through it. And Philadelphia calls time here. for Memphis. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Passes it to Purdy. Back to Maxi. Greg, you read about Jimmy Butler starting his own coffee company, and he did that in the NBA bubble, and he drinks, he said, about, about five cups of coffee a day. Do a lot of NBA players drink coffee to keep them going and get that extra burst? Absolutely. I remember drinking coffee on the bitch late in my career. Uh, it, it's kind of a comfort food. It warms you up a little bit. And all good things that can get you ready for action, I'm for. And the first one drops. What you love about Jacoperto is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. Free throws, good from Pirtle. Memphis leading by 22. Jones looking for an opening. Left side, Jackson. Whistle blow, the basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. That's his first. That is great body control by Jaron Jackson. 
takes the hit, completes the play, and now gets to the line for one more. The line for one. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And that one falls for Jackson. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kick gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, players don't mind you criticizing their games when those critiques become personal. Shot clock at two, the three from Harden, rebounded by Jackson. Jackson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Brooks, the pass to Jones. Back to Brooks. And down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Good athlete. 37-inch vertical. Brooks aggressive above the rim. Outside, Maxie. Harden outside over Jones. The 76ers with another miss. I like the aggressiveness. What I don't like is the lack of efficiency. Now here's Brooks, defended by Feibel. Unloads from 13. They get the rebound. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the Grizzlies. You know, a team can have a great shooting night without getting a lot of assists, but tonight they had both. Yeah, and listen, you only get the assist if the guy you give it to makes the shot. So a lot of assists will up your field goal percentage. But this is a great team effort by everyone. And so check it out, their record tonight. That'll mark win number 32 overall. And with this win, it gives them a sweep of the season series, even though it's just a brief two-game. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for John Morant. He just looked like an orchestrator out there. His teammates kept running to the open spot, and he found them time and time again. Jackson finds Jones. Goes back up. It's hauled in by Harris. Now the 76ers with it. Outside, Maxi. There's the pass to Purdy. Back to Maxi to stop the drought. No good that time. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And we've got David Aldridge standing by on our sideline with the player of the game. David, it's all yours. Thanks very much, Ja. A lot of swag on this team tonight. Who's responsible for that confidence? I feel like we all talk to each other, even the coaching staff. Coach let us play with a lot of freedom. Everybody has the green light. So, I mean, there's no no reason to lack confidence when you have a coach who believes in you um, every step of the way and just lets you go out there and play your game. So, uh, we always just preach, you know, keep shooting, make or miss, and we're behind you. So, You all look like a confident bunch, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Steve Smith... Greg Anthony and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in as New Balance presents our player of the game, Ja Morant.